I ain't never got a flex, all I get is checks, buy a private jet, where we going next, I'm too up every day, 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 I ain't never got a flex, all I get is checks, buy a private jet, where we going next, I'm too up every day, I'm too up every day, I'm too up every day, I'm too up every day. Yo, 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 what's good? What's good? This your boy, Mr. Check My Resume, coming to bring you my watch list for December the 27th. Um, and we're going to see what's good for this week. Um, before we get, I'm going to get right into it because we got the Alpha Pack watch list coming to you um, as well today. So um, let's get right to it. Let's go. Um, so, first and foremost, um, you know, as we had a close the Friday, um, markets as well as a lot of the sectors we're looking at closed, um, looking very bullish. Um, so, you know, I guess just as a uh, precursor, I've already shared my watch list uh, with my Alpha Pack members, those that are in the group. Um, I typically have a larger than normal list, and this is larger than normal by my standards. So there was a lot. Um, of setups out there in the market that looked extremely bullish to me um, to the point where I needed to, uh, you know, mark them and identify them. Um, obviously, we're not going to play them all, but uh, we're going to, you know, as we always do, take our time, see what presents itself in the market on Monday. Um, but without further ado, we're going to hop right into these setups. Um, and again, if you've seen the list, I'm not going to go through all of those. That was just a lot. Um, but first and foremost, let's talk about industrials. Uh, first one in industrials I want to talk about is Caterpillar. Um, and what we've got here on Caterpillar, let me take my after hours off of that. Um, so first off with Caterpillar, we've got a potential 2-2 rev on the week. Um, and, I, and I really like the way the week ended as well as, you know, just the, the way it performed overall. Um, so we got a potential 2-2 rev on the week above 207.30. Um, so our level there for entry is $207.30 on Caterpillar. Um, that'll be our entry level. Look strong. Um, I'm looking at potential, you know, potential for it to bump its head around 215. Um, it has a strong level, not to say that it's going to, you know, reject it for it. just a, just a point of, uh, just an area of emphasis you want to be want to be aware of, but really like the way the cat's setting up for next week. Next one I have on the list is Lockheed Martin LMT. We took um, some Lockheed trades a few months ago. Um, we did not it did not perform well. Um, it just kind of stayed flat, and it's been in that same range for the last six to eight weeks. So. Um, same thing with LMT. We've got a potential 2-2 rev on the weekly time frame above 348.32 is the level that I have on LMT, 348.32. Um, and so we get above that level, that'll give us our, uh, our reversal on the weekly time frame. Really want to catch this one on magnitude back to the upside. Um, next one I have. Next one I have here is FedEx. Again, got a weekly reversal potentially on FedEx. We got a couple of broad informations just above it, but actually we got a three one two coming up on the week. It's not a two two rev, but we got a potential three one two in Chicago above two fifty six twenty three. Um, is our is our level for entry on the week? If you want to go long, would be would be the level that I would look for there. Um, just understand you're gonna have a little bit of turbulence, just kind of breaking through, you know, broad informations. But um, you know, the market, you know, if the sector performs how how we're looking on the charts, then 
um, you know, that shouldn't be a problem getting through that level. Just buy you some time. Um, I, I've put in the contracts I've, I reviewed in the Discord for the pack members. Next one I have, let's keep going on the list. There we go. All right, next one I have is Halliburton, H A L. This one here, um, we played Halliburton a couple times. Um, I'm one of the few people that, you know, I, I consistently look at it. But this one right here, we the same thing. You get the you get the drill, um, kind of what I look for, um, the setups that I like. Um, we've got Halliburton again, uh, potential uh, reversal on the week, back to the upside. Um, our level for entry would be above twenty three dollars and seven cents. Um, and I, you know, I really like Halliburton long. Uh, we also are two down on the month, so we have a potential monthly reversal above 23.98. So if we do get the movement we need on the weekly time frame, then that monthly reversal looks, you know, looks like it's it will be in play there. Um, so definitely like Halliburton as well. And so that's all I have on the industrial sector right now. Let's move on to healthcare. Um, and, and as you all know, we've been playing healthcare for a few weeks now. Um, I, I called out an Abbey Vibe, I don't know, a couple of weeks ago, three weeks ago, and um, Boss Game VIP, uh, Will called out BMY as well a couple of weeks ago. Um, so um, just kind of sticking to that theme as well. I really like how healthcare has been performing and my expectation on how it will continue to perform. Um, first one here on the list I have is Medtronics MDT. What am I doing? Oh, all right, there we go. Uh, Medtronics again, we had downside action and let me clear my screen. And Medtronics, we've got a potential 2-2 rev on the week right here above 103.40. That's $103.40 on Medtronics for a, a weekly reversal. Back to the upside, as you can see, it's still too down on the month. So, so keep your, you know, be mindful of the conflict there. Um, and, you know, so Medtronics is one, as we know, if we catch it at the right time, um, the premiums on the contracts move very well. And, you know, it's a good, it's a good stock to play as well. Uh, so there's magnitude. So we'll, we'll see if it does trigger, I like it back to the 113 level. I really like it back to make its way back to the 130 level over time. It'll take its time getting there. Next one I have on the list. Um, this is one I haven't played in a, in a while, but that's CVS. Um, but again, CVS, we've got a potential 212 on the week um, above 101.87. We've got the 212 potentially on the week. This one went, has been performing well. It's in a range where it can, it's in the midst of a breakout now, but it can continue on its breakouts, which is, which is my expectation um, going into this week. So definitely liking the way CVS, CVS actually is one of my top looking. I really, I really like the way CVS looks this week. Uh, so CVS is one to keep on your radar. Definitely like the way that CVS sets up. Next one is Johnson and Johnson and XLV. Similar deal here. XLV looks very strong. Uh, this. There we go. XL, uh, so J and J, another XLV stock. Again, uh, we see the inside week um, hammer, Momo hammer there. Uh, we got some broad formations just above its head. We get the break on the level. We need to get through that, and we've got some pretty good magnitude and some daily broad formations, but nothing major until you get about. 182. So if we do break those levels, um, then you know we got a potentially good long-term trade with uh, Justin Justin. So we'll we'll see we'll see what happens. But again, XLV has been performing well. But I like the weekly setup on Johnson and Johnson. 
Uh, next one we've got is BMY. We're not, not much to say about BMY, but I did want to point out the fact that we do have a trigger potentially on the week. Um, so we do have that inside week trigger um, that would give us the 212, and that would be above the level of 6256. Um, and so definitely like the way BMY sets up and it's gonna continue to run. So Boss Game VIP called that one out originally. So just wanted to reiterate that for the pack. Next one, we next sector we're gonna move into is XLY. Um, first one we had on XLY, I'm not even gonna talk about Amazon, but it has a really fire setup. Um, but HD, um, HD was two down last week. Very strong week though. Um, so there's a potential for the reversal back to the upside there. Um, on HD, that is above, let me clear my screen. Yeah, so you got the 2.2 rev on the week above 399.84 on HD. Um, that's the trigger level to enter HD. Uh oh. Um, couple others. Um, obviously, Lowe's looks very similar. Um, you've got Airbnb as well. Um, Airbnb has a very strong looking inside week last week. Um, we potentially get that 212 on the week above 171.99. Um, also, potentially, if we get the movement to the upside, we've got a monthly rev above 187.50. Uh, Airbnb. Um, there's a couple others in the sector I'm not going to talk about, like General Motors, Workhorse is also a couple others, um, but I'm not going to go through every single ticket. Um, next sector we're looking at is consumer staples, uh, XLP stocks, one of which, uh, you know, we play, we were in Procter & Gamble. Um, again, inside week here, very strong inside week last week on PG. Uh, so looking for a 212 continuation above 160.92. Um, nothing else to be said there. We've been playing Procter & Gamble since the middle of October. We were in December 17, 150 calls, and those hit for over a thousand percent. I can't remember the final tally on those, but those went stupid. Um, so we're just, you know, it's a continuation here. Um, next, keep going. Also in XLP, we've got Costco. Um, that I'll just quickly highlight. Um, Costco, two down on the week, but a very strong hammer looking candle on the week. So we've got potential reversal back to the upside above 552.61 on uh, Costco. Um, again, we alerted Costco down here about 453.94 was the trigger level. And we gave some additional alerts here as well at the 51966 level. So we've been playing Costco since October as well. So same thing here, just been killer monster trades. These are in continuation, uh, but definitely fire looking setups uh, for continuation. Um, a couple others in the sector, Pepsi and Coke, we've been playing those as well. I'm not gonna get into those as well as Tyson Foods, TSN. Those are all other XLP stocks that look really, really good. Um, Another sector, um, I haven't been playing them too much, but it's XLK. Uh, first one I'll get into on the XLK area is Apple. Um, with the way Apple looks, you can't ignore it. Um, you've got the two down candle on the week, very strong, hardly no wick. You've got a level for entry above 176.85 on the week. That'll give you the 2-2 two -two reversal for Apple. Um, very strong looking candle there. Um, you can't expect nothing less than um, a reversal back to the upside there on the week. Um, also, um, Microsoft, we've got PayPal, QCOM, and QS are others that also kind of look very nice to me and hit my criteria as far as what I look for. Um, so I'm not going to get into those, but just definitely wanted to highlight Apple looks very strong, um, which is representative of the rest of the sector. Um, you know, just want to quickly touch on financials. You've got Goldman Sachs and Wells Fargo. I'll just get into Goldman Sachs. Um, Goldman is one of my favorite bank, you know, financial stocks to play. Uh, we do have the setup here on the hammer on the week above 387.61. We give you the 2-2 reversal. Um, so definitely like the way it 
sets up. We'll see how the sector plays out. I'm not quite um, a believer um, that is going to continue. Could be a TTO on the week and then go back down. Uh, but we do have a reversal on the month as well above 40175. So we're not far away from that level as well. Um, so, you know, if it does move, the Goldman Sachs could be potentially one I look for. But um, I'm really, really looking at um, energy oil stocks as like, you know, stuff to really focus on this week. Um, and let's, let's talk about it. Uh, first one we, we're going to look at is CVX. Um, similar deal, 2-2 um, reversal on the week. Your level for entry is above 117.92. And the main thing with energy stocks around this time, this is their time of the year where they like to run um, until about the spring, the end of Q1, going into Q2. Uh, well, you know, Q1, I want to you know, overstate it, but, you know, this is a time of year when, you know, tech seems to kind of go, you know, a little flat and you'll get um, a lot of action out of the energy stocks. So, so just, uh, just mindful of that, um, you know, you want to get a little exposure to some energy, uh, while these other sectors kind of do what they do. Uh, it's a smart play to uh, potential time to get in this week. Uh, so this one, as well as XOM is in XOP, there's a few others. Uh, not going to talk about each one of them, but similar setups on the week, 2-2 two -two reversals, potential inside weeks as well. But this one here is 2-2 two -two reversal on the week on Exxon above 61.84. Um, that's a level for entry. Um, similar deal, um, you know, nothing new. This is the time of year for that sector. So just be mindful of that. Um, let's keep it rolling here. Next sector we're gonna talk about is communication services. Uh, the big one we talked about last week on the call was Snapchat and how it was setting up and how it looked, you know, last week it just performed very well. Um, it's a lot of broad information. I'm gonna clear that off for you guys. Um, main thing we, we see here is that there's a potential rotation um, back to the upside reversal on SNAP. We've got an inside week, so we got a potential 212 above $49.07 on SNAP. Um, and, you know, I, you know, I have my expectation is that SNAP will um, reverse on the week and head back to the upside this week. Um, there's a couple others like Twitter that also looks very nice. Um, similar setup, you got a 212 on the week for Twitter, um, as well as Zynga. Um, been watching Zynga for a couple weeks now. Um, I'll pull that one up really quick. We've got a couple double inside weeks there that I am really trying to locate and really uh, not locate, but I'm trying to hear. Um, identify when this thing can trigger. It's been kind of playing around with this level for a couple of weeks now. So we'll see what happens on Zynga. I really like the way it's setting up. I like the potential reversals that happening here and the buildup um, that we're consolidation we're seeing on the week. Um, so we've got these double inside weeks and we've got a 2-2 two -two rev on the month, potentially above $6.70. Um, so it's all setting up for um, this thing to reverse and go back to the upside. So I want to be there and ready for that when that when that occurs. Um, simply put on Zynga. So we'll keep that one on watch um, as well. Zynga's one I'll play regardless. And then lastly, last sector we'll talk about now is materials. Um, you know, I'm not going to talk about Bell. We're already in there. Um, you know, we're in January. I'm in 14s. I think Bosnia called out 15. So, I mean, we're all over in Bell leaps and all. So I'll just quickly touch on CLF, which uh, was on my watch list last week. It didn't trigger, stayed inside, um, showed a hammer candle. So, um, you know, still, still got it on my list, still watching it, waiting for it to break. We'll get the 212 on the week above $20.42 on CLF. Um, again, we've got a two down on the month. So next week or the end of next week, we can get the 122 on the month above $21.67. So um, CLF looks fire. Um, looks like one that looks very nice to play. Um, another one is X as well. Um, an X similar deal, just different looking setup. Um, this one here, we get a 322. We got a hammer on the week. So we get the 322 to the upside above 
$23.22 on X. Um, similar deal, it's two down on a month, but we get the reversal at $24.10, which is less than a dollar away. So we get the reversal that pushes you up back to 24. That makes this go green. Then going into the following week, the first week of January, we get this two two reversal on the month. So then we get action. Now, now we're moving, now we're cooking with grief. So um, that's essentially uh, what I'm looking at for the week. There's a lot. Um, if you're in the alpha pack, you can definitely go through the list and kind of pick and choose what you like and you know what you, you know, your preference. Um, and you know, I'll I'll give some more details on some of the stuff that I like that I'm for sure gonna play. Um, but these are the, you know, it's quite a list, it's a lot, but, um, you know, I would be remiss if I didn't uh, share it all with you all. So um, until, until tomorrow, um, have a great holiday weekend, Pac-Fam, and we'll catch up soon. Peace.